All right, hey guys, Rob here, and in this video we're going to be showing you another Ecamm Live lesson. So maybe you wanted to do something that's just like this, put yourself in a little computer, uh, and go ahead and maybe transition into your to your next scene. So very simple process to do, and that's what we're going to learn today. All right, so this is going to be very simple inside of Ecamm. First we need to find the, the image, the image overlay, and for this one I'm going to go ahead and share the description below and where I found this, but it was on the, the Pixels website, and uh, obviously you click on this and uh, it was a free download so I didn't have to pay anything for the images or anything like that uh, went ahead and clicked on the free download there and then we're gonna need to open up that image inside some sort of image editor uh, because we do need to make sure that this is a, a PNG file so uh, for that let's go ahead and go into my uh, photo editor here and it's just gonna be the standard one that we see on the the Mac here we are in the the previewer uh, for this uh, here's the image and what I found best in, in order to make overlays especially if you're gonna be doing widescreen is uh, you're, you're gonna want to make sure that the the size that we're gonna be using is 1920 by 1080 it just seems to, to work a lot better inside of uh, the Ecamm software and I'm gonna go ahead and click on OK now the the next part that we need to do here is we need to make this a PNG file and we need to make uh, this window right here transparent because if we don't we're not able to uh, see through things and uh, very easily we, we can do this with uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, select this right here uh, draw, draw a rectangle and we're just trying to get the insides of the computer monitor okay that's why when we're looking for an image online it's always best to have one that's uh, forward facing you know front facing computer there and all we really have to do is hit the hit the delete button on on the Mac so we're hit the delete button and it says convert this image to a PNG it's gonna do it for you automatically click on the convert button and now you can see it's grayed out right here and that's gonna be beautiful once we import this into uh, you know Ecamm live so we'll go ahead and show you that here right now. Alright so now that we are in uh, Ecamm Live now it's time to go ahead and, and set up the scene uh, so that we can we can do things properly here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the plus button create my new scene and I'm gonna go ahead and click on this button right here the share screen okay and that would allow me to have uh, a miniaturized picture-in-picture -picture that I can move around anywhere uh, otherwise we wouldn't have any kind of picture-in-picture -picture to to make the size of that screen okay so now it's time to bring in the uh, the PNG overlay okay so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead and click on new image overlay you navigate to where you save the PNG file I'm gonna go ahead and click on the open alright so now I I am able to reposition my picture-in-picture and I'm able to go ahead and stretch that out and now I just created a, a simple little overlay kind of unique that would allow you to uh, you know do this during during a live live show and uh, if you remembered how at the very beginning I was able to uh, you know zoom in zoom out and stuff and that Ecamm does it all for you so uh, obviously to change between the scenes you can go ahead and push the play button and you can see how it zooms it out for you uh, inside of the Ecamm Live software. So a very neat way to, to make yourself a little bit unique when you're doing the live presentations uh, so that you have a nice little uh, overlay. So hopefully you remembered what we did here. We found the image, we made it a PNG, uh, and we made sure that we had a transparent cutout uh, inside of the, the program that we used. And again, we used the, the preview app that's built inside of all Macs, okay? So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Hey guys, thanks for watching this and hopefully you learned something.